Hi, welcome to this part. We are looking at part 17 of the AWS Solution Architect Professional Certification. In this part, we will look at questions linked with these three topics. So please do not forget to refer this playlist. You see, there are so many videos on AWS Solution Architect Professional. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. So let's jump into the questions. See, there is a three-tier application on these two regions you see these two regions here right hand side yellow ones the key is the application is running on both the regions simultaneously it is operational here now this application is making use of one database okay and what is the database it's a global database which is an rds database okay aurora to be very specific under rds it is aurora aurora you can create global databases and this database you have the master copy here this is the master and then you have a replicated copy of the database here and these two locations are connected through a vpn now what is the ask the ask is like if any region goes down the component should be up even, even if one component fails on the application should be up and for up to one hour the program may you be in a read only mode that means if suppose this master copy this fails the program allows you that this copy that is the read only copy can be used for one hour so till one hour you can use it and one key element here is route 53 record sets there will be two separate route 53 one here and one here so when people say uh, that components can fail what can fail so we know either uh, this can fail or this can fail these are the two components that the question is talking about so we have to provide a solution and this is key no delay or very minimum delay now let's go to first one what it says is this option a see the problem with a is that you know it is talking about health check but it will associate with only one region record set but what about this record set so it is saying we will use failover routing to configure this record set as primary and this as secondary see i don't think a primary and secondary is allowed you know these two keywords itself is allowing me to differentiate that this option is wrong why you see here it says the application must be operational in both areas concurrently concurrently means at the same time so both are primary there is no primary and secondary configuration okay so this is wrong see weighted routing the problem is it is telling a weight of 50 see weighted routing is used for routing your traffic like how much traffic you can put on each resource and if you want to stop traffic to a resource you can make the weight for that record to zero see here the problem is we don't know that the weight of 50 is good or not because the question is not talking about distributing your weight of loads so this is wrong for me the option c see we need two answers select two answers see c talks about latency based routing which is correct because you have to like we told we have to address two component one is the uh, we have to address the database and the other is route 53 record sets so these two we have to address so the first one that is a record set this option out of these three we have to choose one option because these three options are addressing record set in a different way so first two we have already established why these are wrong option c latency based routing because if the load is high it will go there it will always low, it will go here it, there will be a routing based on the latency 
see there are these many types of routing and latency routing if you have uh, service up in multiple aws regions and you want to route traffic to a particular region for example you are watching netflix and you are in south korea so we will route you to a region which is close to south korea and that way we will not route you to a region in europe okay so that is how latency based routing works wherever the latency would be low low latency is good high latency is not good low latency means less wait time that means performance is good this is my first answer and the second answer has to be between this and this why because only d and e are addressing database related stuff so how is d addressing this d is using cloudwatch alarm it will do a health check and if 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 the database is down the database is down it will invoke lambda function okay which will promote the read replica in us that means the read replica will now be coming the primary database and you know we already told you in the question that it can allow the read replica for one hour so that is that is good for us so this is my second answer but you may ask why not e for the database because because rds event notification it cannot invoke lambda function okay why why because the database went down the database went down then how will it react to a failure and invoke a lambda function it went down but you can do that through cloudwatch because database goes down but cloudwatch is not down in that region this is my final answer now let's jump into this question so you have two boxes this is your on premises blue one green one is your aws the organization requires transitive routing capabilities that means it will use a transit gateway so what is required you need to cut your outbound traffic expenditures anything out going out of cloud is chargeable anything coming inside to cloud is free second thing is it wants you to boost the bandwidth and you need a consistent network experience whenever you think about high bandwidth high bandwidth high bandwidth high bandwidth consistent network experience consistent network experience think of aws direct so by thinking of this i have eliminated i have eliminated a because a does not use aws direct connect and c it does not use aws direct connect a and c are using site to site vpn aws direct connect is preferred over site to site vpn so our answer has to be between b or d the difference between b and d is this here they are using WIF. here they are using site to site vpn now if 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 you want if you want consistent network experience do not use mix and match do not use mix and match like aws direct here connect here and site to site vpn here and vpc pairing do not use mix and match for example you want high performance you bought a ferrari and you are putting the engine of honda civic not good will that give you high consistent performance ferrari will is known for race cars high performance if you change the engine and put a honda civic engine you will not get the performance so t is same it is like plugging honda civic in ferrari that's why b is my answer first it is using direct connect connection okay and direct connect gateway throughout second is it makes use of transit wiff see this documentation it is just like if if you have if you have like for example cricket you know the opening batsman such in tendulkar and sevak this is just like that high performance it is like tendulkar and sevak you see this huge transit wiff attachment enables your network to connect up to three regional routers over a private dedicated connection this is born to give you consistent network experience boost bandwidth throughput and hence this would be my final answer now let's look at 53 see that your corporate wants a no sql database and they want to host this application on aws vpc okay so when you think about no sql what reminds you dynamo db it is a flexible no sql service it gives you single digit millisecond performance highly performant 
if you want to design an application like Uber, use DynamoDB. But the problem here is it does not work with a VPC kind of setup. So if you think so, if you are thinking to just blindly use DynamoDB like one of B, C, or D, that would be wrong because DynamoDB does not work in the VPC kind of setup. So what is the option? You will have to use A. You will have to set up a NoSQL cluster in AWS instance. For example, EC2 instance, you will have to use that and then use your like configure your route tables and subnets because DynamoDB does not work with VPC. So this would be my final answer. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. Very important for me to understand if you like these contents and these are helpful to you so that I can publish more. Do not forget to visit this playlist. There are so many videos just on AWS Solution Architect Professional. This brings us to the end of this part. We covered questions linked with these three topics. See you in the next part.